everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at the brand new app from Woodman's Immaculate Maple Syrup Studio. This is Wub Verberator and it's a convolution reverb and it sounds bloody lovely. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to run this little, I've got the mix turned down now, so it's, all you're going to be hearing is the dry signal from these two synths. Very cool. In case you're interested, it's two uh, synth master, synth master one, and synth master, sorry, synth master two and synth master one, and they've been mixed together in this mix group. And on the mix group output, I have the wood verberator, wood verberator. So let's bring this in and lose yourself in a world of lushness. How lovely is that? So we can have a time of up to 10 seconds. We can use the original file length of the convolution, uh, the impulse response. We can reverse it. This is just one of the impulse responses that are included, but you can import your own. Beautiful. So let's see what we've got, shall we? Let's turn this volume down a tiny bit while we have a quick look round. Okay, so you have springs, different types of spring. You have plates. Look at all these, we'll play lots of these. Halls, different halls. Let's just go into a JFK underpass. This is a really nice convolution reverb, I kid you not. So we have damping, diffusion, free delay, distribution. Then you have a file mode here, so you can have left and right, just left, just right and stereo decolor correlation high pass filter and a low pass i'm going to turn this microphone down so and we'll just play around with these convolutions they're just absolutely awesome and there's loads now you do also have before i before i proceed you can go into the presets and if you're gonna go into things like experimental and sound design, for example, this one weird, turn the volume down, and then turn up to suit. Or you can, you know, swap between this stuff going on here. So let's choose a preset. In fact, let's reset to default and look at some of the convolutions.
you can create some really, really lush textures just by playing around the damping controls. I'm using EG nodes as a host by the way, but it's AUV3 so I'll work in anything. Okay, so while that's playing, let's set up a kind of a, let's get in an audio sampler and I'm going to drag in a drum loop. So let's do this. In fact, I'm going to set it to 110 BPM for now. So I want to drag in a 110 BPM drum loop. I'm going to go to sample crates. some drums in fact I'm going to drag this one in and set it to 100 BPM I could time stretch this as well, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. Let's turn that down for a minute. And I'm going to bring in the wood verberator. There we go. Wood verberator. Let's look at something for maybe in the preset, something for drums. So factory, it's drums and percussion. So basically you get an idea of how it works, how it sounds, how it can be applied, different types of convolutions you can apply, your presets and stuff. But look, let's sit on this for a sec, right? We have an advanced section here, which takes wood verberator, wood verberator, into a whole new realm. Look, so if we tap on our advanced tab. The first one we see is stereo, which is what we have here. But then we have our dynamics, we have like de controls here. We have a delay. We have a PFL, 
phase, is it phase modulation or or, or, or or pitch modulation? I'm not sure, but PF, PLFO and ALFO. So I'm guessing PLFO is, yeah, phase mod. And this is amplitude mod. And then we have this 2D. I can't seem to get this to work. Um, it's just kind of greyed out. So there may be another setting you have to kind of play around with to get this going. Anyway, then you have a tail control here. Then you have quality. This is bonkers, right? It can get some really cool effects here. And then there's more stuff here. You can, with the you know, bits and pieces. Let's look at some of these, right? So let's play our draw. And let's look at dynamics, right? So you have a ducking thing as well going on. So duck, right? Gate amount. Gate attack. Duck engage. Gate threshold. Go on to our Diessa. I think it's a Diessa. Delay. Let's fix the Diessa a sec. Let's get me volume under control. Let's sync it up. Feedback. Control. Tail. High pass and low pass filtering. Late start in milliseconds. Listen to this. So quality. Look at this where it says taps. Let's take the quality down and see what happens. Just gonna keep make, make sure my volume is under control because this starts to get loud. How cool is that? Oh, come on. Let's put a bit of delay in with that, eh? Let's have it sync though to maybe one eight dotted. Sorry, change that again. Now let's look at the pitch LFO. And then the amplitude mod. It's 
Brilliant! We've lo looked at but that's something you can mess around with your settings. Gotta wait for certain things to adjust in the impulse. So remember to control your volumes when you're doing all this because it does make a difference. Right, so look. Let's, we've tried them on drums. Let's play around with that stuff with these synths, right? So we've got a kind of mellowy vibe going on, right? start quieter I'm gonna see what happens it's going to advanced I know I'll keep the let's maybe change the uh, to a plate I really like the plates let's look at uh, say um, a large plate Very nice. So you have your stereo control as the first kind of one in the advanced. But let's go and look at dynamics. We've got a deducker. Which will duck the reverb against the dry signal. Like that. Let's have a fast gate, and then we have sides. And then reverb out gain. Take the amount off. This is nice, it's like a filter. Double tap to reset. the reverb before the reverb I guess now let's listen to this uh, phase modulation I guess it is but we can sync this up as well so let's sync this up to 1.8 Sounds a bit like pitch mod, doesn't it? But and you can have this really slow, it's very cool. But let's put it into free. Is it like a delay for it to come in? See? Nice. Amplitude modulation. So this is going to be like a tremolo, I guess. Again, we can have this synced. So we change our convolution. 
very large ambience. Nice to try both of these together. I think that sounds really good. Oh, if everyone's going to love this app, ain't they? It's just awesome. Okay, let's look at... I don't know what 2D, 3D is. That might be interesting. If I can, I have to ask the developer. Or, you know, read the manual. <laughs> tail. This is the, the reverb tail, obviously. Saturation's nice there. Quality again, let's do <laughs> this is just bonkers. So it looks it's kinda like it's reducing the bit rate of the convolution. You turn the volume down of those those synths. That was me accidentally bringing the drums back in, in the mix, but That's a really cool effect, that is. that ambience let's maybe have it hmm. oh very interesting let's reduce the quality even more See what I've got to do though, I've got to ride the volumes of this, look, so it's really low, otherwise it gets... Let's bring those drums up. In fact, let's look at the drums. There's the uh, quality, uh, no, um, Saturation. Maybe God knows what this will sound like. Pretty good. in the mix here. So. Let's have a look at this. That's just your MIDI channel stuff. Enable MIDI CCs for your PC. I'm not sure. Enable MIDI CCs for this. digging this. Let's go all the way. Put a 
better delay on that now, eh? Guys, there you go. Wood Vibrator by Woodman's Immaculate Syrup, whatever it's called. Let me just, it's, it's, it's he's got such a, such a, 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 a long name for this. It's called Woodman's Immaculate Maple Syrup Studio. There you go. Wood Vibrator. Lovely. Very, very cool. I think this may be my favorite convolution reverb because it's really creative. Uh, like I said, tons of different convolutions to choose from. You got, I mean, you got your cabin and stuff. You can import your own, obviously, uh, but there are already a bunch here for you to play around with. Lots of different halls, lots of plates, some spring stuff, bunch of presets. The very, very, very clever and cool advanced section. Really like to know what the two D three because it's grayed out. So maybe I don't know. I don't think there's any IAPs or anything. Let me just check, quickly check on the App Store. I'm pretty sure there's not. No, there's not. You just pay for it. Uh, at the moment, I think it's 30% off. Yeah, 30% off for two weeks. It's $8.99 at the moment. So $8.99 UK pounds or $8.99. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm sure if if you're into this kind of thing, this is just epic stuff. Anyway, uh, synthesizers used where Synthmaster uh, host used was nodes. And I will see you guys later. Bloody marvellous. Top job. Cool beans.